Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you, yes again, only a week later, the Everything Telly, but this time it's Mach 3. And the reason why is I replaced, I didn't like the shiny black pickup cover. Basically the Fender Tex-Mex pickup, when you took the cover off it, just had a bunch of extra holes and stuff and it was like a black shiny bobbin where these are like more flat black, more fibrous types. So I basically took the Seymour Duncan that I used to have in there and I took the cover off and it matched same bobbin same hole in the middle on all three and I stuck it in and now I have a United Nations of pickups because I got Fender, Seymour Duncan and DiMaggio. So it's like the world is united, the pickups are united, it sounds great. The only thing I had to do was basically it still had, this is the middle pickup reverse whatever reverse wind so i stuck it in it still had hung canceling but the problem was it was out of phase with both this and the dimaggio which i didn't know you could get out of phase with a humbucker so i just swapped the wires and it works perfectly now i'm really happy i'm really a sticklet on aesthetics in the future sometime i might try to put the callaham bridge back on because i like the way that looks better the problem is is see how these have the screws here well the screws keep it from feeding back and the callaham bridge claims that it doesn't need it but it does because when I had the little 59 in there and I would have really high gain, it would feed back and then I'd push down on the bridge and it stops. So that meant that it was microphonic pretty much. So I have to find some kind of like wax or maybe some silicon caulk or whatever and get it under there so that way I can get it to stop feeding back. I might do that and I might splurge and get like a fancy control panel, you know, those pre-built boutique ones, just to cap it all off because there's really nothing more I can do to this thing. This thing is just perfect. Like at first I didn't like the two fenders in the DiMaggio, but now that I have one of each of the big brands, it kind of makes me feel like, oh yeah, it's like the United Nations. So yeah, it's I got everything. I've got it all covered. You know, I've got the the Les Paul Strat Telly. This isn't how I imagined it would happen. Originally I imagined having something like lace sensor pickups where it was all flat black, but those I used to have those in a Strat Plus and they were they're okay. But this this sounds really good and you can't really beat real single coils and this is a, a, a real humbucker kind of so <laughs> <laughs> hey, as long as it's convenient, it works for me. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how this sounds. It'll just be the two, three, four position that are affected. That's because it's the only change I did. And then I'm going to compare it to the clip from last week on those positions just to show you the difference. But it's not a fair comparison because this is a middle pickup and the Tex-Mex was a bridge pickup. And I did that so it would be... I'm canceling with this. So anyway, here you go. I hope you enjoy and happy holidays. It's getting to about that time of year.
All right, there you go. I hope you enjoyed. I know this was a quickie, but you know, it's the holidays. So happy holidays and happy holidays to me. And I will see you guys next week and have a good one. Yeah.